One of the real challenges is despite, you know, all our background and expertise, we're not that great on predicting the future. Child psychiatrist David Rattou says it's not unusual for young people to have dark thoughts or even to write them down. According to court documents, 18-year-old Jack Sawyer wrote about hurting himself and others. He also kept notes in his journal of an active shooter, listing what guns to buy, how much they'll cost, writing, it's about killing as many people as I can. Dr. Ratu says what's concerning is if thoughts like these turn into plans for action. And we have background and we have known risk factors. It's still relatively imprecise, and so it can really be difficult because People will surprise us in both directions. People who can look really dangerous may never actually act on those thoughts. And people who had very few warning signs can sometimes do horrific things. Law enforcement is not set up to deal with those mental health issues. But police are the ones responding to school threats. Lieutenant Douglas Allen says police are always judging how bad things are or could become. You work to investigate to see what was behind that, what was behind that threat or behind that statement, behind that action. Doctors and police say the most important way to keep a tragedy from happening is to report any concerns. And they add that young people shouldn't be afraid to ask for help. In Burlington, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.